not hear me. Uh, can you hear me now? Great. Uh, my name is Yan Zhu. I am a technology intern at the Electronic Frontier Foundation in San Francisco. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about a project called the Aaron Swartz Memorial Hackathons. As many of you know, Ar oh, thank you. Um, Aaron was a hacker and an activist who uh, tragically committed suicide in January of this year. Um, to me personally, he was a huge inspiration and also uh, the brother of a close friend. So when we, we heard about Aaron's suicide, there was, uh, there was a lot of shock and sadness and people organized memorials. Um, I was in San Francisco at the time and I thought, uh, well, why not organize a hackathon? Why not uh, do something to continue the work that Aaron started in data liberation, in um, open source technology, in uh, political and social justice? So I sent out an email to hackerspaces around the world uh, to see if there was interest, and indeed there was. Within a few days, we had um, about a dozen uh, hackerspaces in Japan, Rio, Berlin, interested in hosting one of these events. And within a week or so, we had about 20. Um, as you can see here, this is the full list. Um, so uh, I asked, what projects do people want to work on? And there was literally like six pages, right? Uh, they were incredibly diverse. There was building a book scanner. Uh, there was archiving information from Twitter. Um, and Aaron's brother even looked into the projects that Aaron was currently working on at the time of his death and tried to like, gather those repositories. Um, so uh, at Noisebridge, which was the hackerspace I was most involved with, um, we, ha we had a two-day event and um, one, of, one example of a project we worked on was taking U.S. government data and turning it into a much more manageable and readable format um, and more pretty, as you can see by this website. We literally just like started this project at the start of the hackathon and within two days had, had a working website up and running. Um, and uh, other hacker spaces also seemed to have great events. There was one in Bangalore that had videos. Uh, there was one in Vienna, as you can see by the photo. But, but there were a lot of projects that weren't finished or even started um, because we had so many. There was, uh, someone found that there, like Aaron had uh, downloaded 900,000 books that, from, Google, from Google Books that were not yet in a public domain and we need to copy edit those and make them more indexable. Uh, Aaron had an interest in writing a book on the American highway system and had done a lot of research for that. Um, uh, Christy Dudley from Fork the Law came and gave us a talk about a project to make, um, to reform computer law. And other people found uh, data sets that were, uh, you know, useful for physics but weren't yet in the public domain and should be. And if you want to see the full list of uh, about 40 projects that were proposed, uh, here's the link, tiny.cc slash AaronSW. So, um, so there's a lot of work left to be done and I'd like to invite everyone here to participate in the next stage, which is the next Aaron Swartz Worldwide Memorial Hackathon series. Um, we would like this to be sometime in October, the dates are undecided, but um, you know, we would love input from all of you around the world. If you want to help or participate, please email us at this address or tweet at me, which my username is unhush on Twitter. Uh, or you can join us on IRC on OFTC slash uh, hash Aaron, Swar Aaron SW hack. Um, there, we're also thinking about hosting an event in Berlin at Seabase right after OM on Thursday for people who are going to Berlin. Um, and as a last addition, um, if you want to talk to the organizers personally, a couple of us are at OM, including me, obviously. and. Uh, we were thinking of meeting at Noisy Square at 4.30 p.m. today. So um, that's all I had prepared. I think I did that a little faster than I expected. Yep. So, Huge round of applause. Thank you.